Hey guys, Glenn here again. Um, today I'm going to show two Town Hall 13 attacks. Very creative attack in my opinion because it's not a typical attack or army composition that you typically see. So hopefully this attack just shows you and gives you insight into various army comp that can work in um, any kind of war. So here you're gonna see me use four healers, two ice golem, two yetis, six bowlers, and my heroes. So that's gonna be the kill squad that goes into this base, starts with a warden walk, creating the funnel at three o'clock. So he's gonna cut this down. I'm going to invest one troop to cut this section down. And then I'm just gonna basically put my sea spirit here cutting down this portion of the base so that everything can go right into the base like that. The reason why I instead of using just golems and yetis and add in three four healers is because in this particular base I realized that the air defenses are all on the opposite side of the base so my healers will not be picked up and all my bowlers my heroes will get their full advantage of the healers on them so as you can see i um warden ability so my bowlers stay alive so my bowlers can do more damage um saving it actually made the healer transfer off to the bowlers and save them and make them do more damage even take out the town hall and they're still alive the bowlers which is the key here and you'll notice how my heroes are alive throughout the whole attack except my king because of those healers and that's just good base distinction i guess just realizing that oh there's no air defenses at three o'clock so i can invest in three four healers instead of just using golems and on the back side Typically now, you know, a lot of people use miners and hogs combination. No, this is a very simple 20 hog just with my um, RC. And again, those four healers, none of them dies. Maybe one died, I can't tell. Or maybe all four of them are alive. Which means my queen is full health with her ability. Very safe three star here. And just clean up at this point. So... Whenever you see like those island infernos on back end, I feel like those are very easily taken down, especially if they're single uh, by hogs and RC. But to aggressively put your heroes into those infernos, usually not the best outcome. So I think I used a really good army for that particular base. So I got a very, um, a lot of troops left at the end. Um, this one I wanted to show because this one's a little more maxed out, but just check out the value I get from this. Look at this. So I'm investing a blimp with yetis inside, yeti bomb, and then three balloons right behind it. And look at the three balloons take out those cannon and then like those some trashes here. And I'm already having my queen down because I know that her pathing is already going to be this way because of what I'm gonna take down here but just look at the freaking value of this blimp kaboom do you see that 560 fences down even before my Valks and Yetis do anything wow three balloons take out the warden as well and my queen has a very clean clean uh, pathing up north I um, invest in one archer to lure the CC which was very easy to lure and now my queen is going to be able to take down the CC but guys whenever you see a base with defenses this compact and together think about the, the blimp and the blimp just dropping on it because they're all going to be destroyed just like what you saw today here um, so this is a hybrid attack, so my after my queen takes out the CC, and I know that the multi-inferno is just going to tickle my queen and not going to do anything. Um, I invest my king to take out the RC, and hopefully I was hoping it to take down more stuff on the, on the top side here, but 
unfortunately that does not happen I'm saving my warden's ability for the town hall obviously and um, that was a lot of damage though there because of the eagle and on top of the eagle I had to deal with double scatters there and you usually never want to put down hybrid right against um, um, the double scatter shot angle because both shooting at my miners and hogs means that they're all gonna die even through the heel so it was a tricky tricky entry there but you know I still got the triple here because of my queen placement and the value that I got out of my queen charge um, yeah I think the blimp part was pretty much what set this as a definite three star um, even though my queen is pretty much taking down the rest of the base and my miners and hogs really died by the um, town hall area this is another triple so hopefully you know just to give you some more thoughts and um, ideas of how to take down town hall 13 bases and I'll see you guys in the next one thanks clash on